Alright, so our journey starts and we begin collecting silly coins because, well, currencies are probably useful. You may also notice that I have four cylinders already. This is because in my last video, I used short gameplay for this game and I collected super easy cylinders. Like, they were cylinders that you literally just collected off the floor. It was pretty easy. Oh, by the way, there are 15 normal cylinders that I'm going to be getting in this video and they are way harder to get than I thought. So, we are in for a treat. So after a really short bit of exploring, I decide, hey, let's check out this cool looking castle. Surely there's something of use in here. I then find out that you actually need uh, 12 cylinders to activate whatever this is. And then I, for some reason, start uh, just spamming rage cylinders. I don't really know why. Oh yeah, uh, this, this is important, I promise. Alright, so this is where I find out about these weird, like, flashing cylinders that kill you, and I ran into it thinking you could collect it, but I was wrong. My initial thought was that I actually had to keep dying to it in order to get it. Like, I thought it was some kind of, like, RNG kind of thing, but, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm really gonna be running into a lot of these during this video. While doing more exploration, I found out about this NPC who wants this, uh, Divinator, Divinator, whatever, I don't know. He wants that thing that requires 12 cylinders. Spoiler alert, I thought he was talking about a shop item that you're about to see in a few seconds. I was completely oblivious at this moment. After a game restart, because I got stuck by that pile of bricks that you just saw, I began to do a little more exploration and found out that there was some weird, like, can above a fire pit thing that needed beans. Yep, beans. Scylla beans. You know, I actually have a cat named Vanilla Bean. Anyway. So I make my way to this castle, another castle, and touch this weird purple brick that teleports me. And with common sense, I realize that I have to guess which teleporter is correct. So I do so. And finally, after, well, actually not too long, I find the portal and obtain the Wizardry Cylinder of the Magician. Personally, one of my favorite cylinders because I like the name. More exploring, yay. But I see this floating cylinder here and I go to investigate it. Surely it's like awesome or something. I mean, come on, it's a cylinder. Of course it's awesome. Boiler alert, climbing trees do not work. What have I stumbled upon here? Now, it's pretty obvious what you have to do here, especially considering the fact that you can select these bricks. You have to either mimic or mirror the drawing, one of the two. My attempts, unfortunately, had no results. Successful results. I needed something that could help me draw on it, like a crayon. I have stumbled upon something else interesting. It looks like a cave entrance, and despite my attempts to enter it, I could not do so. At this point, I'm getting pretty excited because it seems like you're gonna have to do a bunch of objectives in order to, you know, get cylinders. Also, don't worry, we will start getting more soon. We're just exploring the map right now. Right here, I collect my 15th cylinder bean, and the game tells me I can make cylinder bean stew. Yeah, it doesn't really sound appetizing, but the idea of me getting a new cylinder does. Anyway, it tells me I must find a can of bean, which I found earlier if you remember. So we travel to that exact spot. Upon arriving, nothing special needed to happen on my end. I just had to walk up to it, and it gave me my cylinder of bean.
After a bunch of exploring and literally having no idea what to do next, I take note of this cylinder. Like literally, I had open notepad just to remind myself in post-production to talk about how I actually realized that I need a jumping potion to get this. And luckily for me, I've been grinding quite a bit of silly coins. Okay, first off, ignore the glitching text. Uh, it's glitching, but the jumping potion thing is like 50 silicoins, and obviously I have enough, although after a short time of consideration, I have decided to get this other thing for 100 silicoins. Problem is, I do not have 100, so grinding we shall do. With the power of editing, you do not have to witness me collecting all of those coins. But here we are, we have over 100 silicoins to spend on our new product. Now, uh, just to remind you, I thought that this was for the NPC on the side of the building, shop, whatever. Uh, this is pretty much the only reason I decided to buy this, as opposed to buying the jump boost. Although, what I'm buying does have good upsides, like, really good upsides. It literally helps me learn what I have to do to earn other cylinders. Okay, uh, check this out. I've literally been wandering around for 10 minutes. Like, you can go back a few seconds and watch the previous clip. It was 9.43 and now it's 9.53. And I was just so confused. But anyway, I was able to get this cylinder, like, super luckily. Uh, basically, it just falls down and breaks as soon as it hits the floor. And you have to get it to, like, not only spawn by you, but land on you. I was super lucky and it really caught me off guard. At this point, I was really getting desperate. I literally had no clue what I had to do. I had explored the entire map, not just that, but multiple times, and I just could not find anything new. There was literally nothing. And you better be thankful for editing, because I kid you not, it took me like 30 minutes to finally ask Tylerfoot what I had to do, and he realized, and he told me on Discord, that meshes did not load. Basically, there were tools around the entire map that really would have been useful, whatever helping me get new cylinders. And fortunately for me, he was kind enough to join the game and escort me to these uploaded meshes that wasted my time. Here we are, uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, if you were looking at my clock at the bottom right, but we jumped from 10.04pm to 10.31pm. Uh, right here I die so that I can respawn at spawn and so Tylerfoot can escort me to the beautiful invisible tools that is absolutely crucial to completing this game. Now that I have gotten this, I already knew exactly what I had to do. Uh, since I have had that weird thing I bought for 100 coins that gives me hints for cylinders. Firstly, I bring this crayon to those two white pieces of paper that I originally thought you had to either mimic or mirror the drawing. Turns out one of those were right. Next, we had this pink thing. I knew you had to break it, and I knew that it scattered into a million pieces, as the idol said, but I somehow did not get it first try, because I suck. Next, we have that cave entrance. Uh, I broke into it with a hammer and guessed my way through the tunnels. I guess guessing works. Get it? Get the joke? Oh yeah, I got the fourth and final piece for that cylinder. Cool.
Here I am attempting that big pink cylinder again. Twice. I really suck at this. Now that I have 12 cylinders, I can get this thing, whatever it is. But uh, this is just for the NPC, uh, it just allows you to reset your progress and start over on cylinder search if you wanted to. So now we're back here, I was kind of stuck and I couldn't find anything and I thought, hmm, maybe it would be a good idea if I explored the rest of that cave. What do you know, it was a good idea. The final one. We just needed to kill the red flashing thing that we've seen at the beginning. Specifically the one that blinks fast. The idol said so. This was pretty easy. I think I died like three times, but shut up, you didn't see it. But here I am finally completing this game without antiques because they're too rare or the conundrum as requested by Tylerfoot. And with that, you have finished the video. I have finished the video. This took an unreal amount of editing, and you guys know I barely make long videos. This is definitely the hardest I've worked on a video. Anyway, I'm way too tired to make an outro, so peace. Have a great day.